Hi guys, this is 30 Something Gamer, I'm Steve, and welcome to this video on how to get to the gun fort in Sekiro. Now the reason I've put this video on is because I have another video, which is a really nice little farming run in the gun fort, um, where you're getting um, over 1,100 skill points every one minute. Um, you're also getting four emblems every one minute, um, 200 sen, and you're getting some random drops of black gunpowder, which is quite nice for your materials. Um, so basically, I'm going to start from the old grave idol in the Sheena Castle. Now, if you've got either the um, Undershrine idol or the um, Sunken Valley shri uh, Shrine uh, idol, just, just go straight to those. Just skip, skip this video straight to where you can see that I'm at those. The reason I'm starting here is because I thought it would be more accessible. And the reason is, is because I found this idol so long ago, this one here, straight after the Blazing Bull. I really wish I'd had the confidence to run the gauntlet into the gun fort. I actually got down to the Sunken Valley idol quite quickly, <laughs> but in typical Soulsborne fashion, I got scared and I thought I'll come back later when I'm a bit stronger. So um, it's completely possible to get to this gun fort idol where my farming spot is really early on, and I really wish I had because the the skill points would have just been flying up. Um, Skill-wise, I've got um, suppressed presence and suppressed sound. Now, I have these amongst a hundred other things that are probably helping me out, um, but I find these great because um, I'm trying to make this video quick, and these allow you to get close to enemies without them really noticing you. Great for death blows and backstabs. That's one reason. And the other reason I'm trying to make the video quick is because, well, there's two reasons. One, I don't want to waste your time. I want you to get your result as quickly as possible. And uh, two, <laughs> I keep dying. <laughs> every time I do this run and I'm not recording it, I do it perfectly. Every time I do it for YouTube, I die. So just, just pretend this is me doing it for the first time, not the hundredth. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, ran past the douchebags, ran past the monkeys. We've got the Great Serpent Shrine Idol. Nice and easy. Then we're going to go over here and just spam your grapple. Lots of items in this canyon, by the way. Um, so take your time when you do it, pick them all up. I've pretty much got them all, so I'll just be running through. Come down here, and then we've got the under shrine idol. So just make sure you, uh, you're you getting these along the way. So the first point of conflict then, that might be a problem, um, is that there's a guy down there with good eyesight and good range. So just come in, jump, be confident, get the grapple point, come around him, give him a couple of digs, and depending on how strong you are, he'll go down quickly. As you can see there, he went to um, thrust attack me. So make sure you've got Makiri counter and those guys are easy as hell. This guy then, again, my suppressed sound straight up behind him. So don't even have to fight this guy. That's a definite death blow there for anybody that might not be feeling too confident about their skills or their health or their attack power. So we come over here and I believe a lizard drops down just miraculously from the sky. If you don't want to fight him, just shuriken him. Nicely easy. And then we'll come across here. So we just need to have, as you can see, this is a dead item there. So there's quite a lot of items dotted around. Now, in typical Soulsborne fashion, we are right near the next idol. And you know what it's like. You're close to a bonfire in Dark Souls. <laughs> they put some nasties in your way. So what you want to do, that patrol there, jump over here, go into stealth. Now you'll see there's a mob against the wall looking at you. The patrol's out of the way. Those shinobi arts get us through quietly. Where that fire is, behind that rock, is a, oh, a bazookoid bell end. Like, he's basically put there to just kill you um, <laughs> before you get to this idol. So sneak past those guys and make sure you rest here because we're going to start the gauntlet now and you want to reset that patrol. You don't want him sneaking up behind that rock there. So this is the NPC that tells you not to go to the gun fort because it's really scary. And he's pretty much right because this is now the gauntlet of getting to the gun fort. And this is where my video goes horribly wrong. Now, you might die a lot as well. So if you don't want to risk the dragon rot, just, you know, it, you'll probably be fine. But if you don't want to, just upload your save. Practice the run a few times because you've got the idol now. Um, and when you're confident doing it, just um, download your save and just um, have a go. So as you can see, straight down here, got to keep moving, nice and fast, sprint, sprint, sprint. Straight onto this. That's not the best landing there, that can get you in all kinds of trouble. Come up here, ignore snake guys. Come up here, try not to panic the jump, just try and do a clean double jump there. 
get along here as quickly as possible. Snake eyes will sometimes shoot you in the back. This is where it gets really difficult now because you've got plenty of guys um, <laughs> all looking out for you um, and unfortunately there's not much you can do about them. So just try and follow me as best as possible and I apologise if I die um, trying this. So spin across the bridge, a couple of strafes never hurt. Uh, that one did, it hit me in the face. <laughs> so drop down, spam your grapple, spam your grapple and spam one more time. I'm across here. Don't fall there like I did. <laughs> um, and when you start here, be very quick. Just come there. Best just to jump off that branch because yeah, it pushes you off the edge, which is a bit shitty. Right, you can get shot in the back here, so be quick. So come up. Nice, okay, we got that. Come straight up onto here. Again, they can be shooting you in the back. My suppressed sound allows me to do that. Fantastic. Now sprint. Sprint, 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 sprint. All the way up here. Ignore all those guys through here, up here. Ignore everything in here, especially these two. Bazooka Blade Bell End. Tight round the corner, and you're straight into the. There we go, look at that. Idle, rest quickly, because they do follow. See, there, he's blocking me resting. So come down here, but don't go too far down here, because there's a mini boss. Just rest, nice and easy, in stealth mode. Yeah, he's having a look around. He's having a little cheeky look. And this is an important mob, this guy here, because he is our farming run, which is fantastic. So wait till he turns his back. And what I'll do is, we'll give him a nice little backstab just for ruining the video and making us wait. So, we'll come up and uh, that's what you get for uh, wasting our time. So, as you can see there, 297 for that drop. I got a spirit, spirit emblem for the backstab, and then I get 52 sen. So this is the gun fort, where we've got the little farming run. So I'll rest here. Now down that little path I went is an elite sort of mini boss. Um, he's, he's not as hard as he seems, you might die a few times, but he's actually really easy just deflecting and um, doing jump. Um, avoidance maneuvers on him and you get a prosthetic tool down there as well so let me show you this quick farming route you basically run back the way we came get this guy backstab him spin the camera and immediately sprint back rest up rest reset come back and you just keep doing that and like you get a lot faster at it because you start remembering where everything is and you know it's sort of muscle memory you know and then when you see him drop an item like that you can you know suck it up and get some black gunpowder for example and then come back rest and just keep repeating this now as you can see once you get to this idol everything's fine like you know you're gonna backstab this guy whether you can do it quickly because you've got this suppressed footstep skill or not doesn't matter because you can still do it really quickly if you have to go into stealth mode. But you're getting decent, um, well, very decent um, XP if you want to call it, skill points. Especially if I had have come here, the first chance I could have come here, I really wish I had have been brave enough to do it. Because this, this would have been a great farming technique. The money's not too bad. And the fact is you're racking up on those spirit emblems as well. Which will probably help you when you go down there <laughs> to fight the mini boss. Um, for the prosthetic tool, again, which I won't spoil for you. Um, and that's basically it. So now that we're here, not only have you come here early in the game, and you've got a nice little checkpoint down here, but you've also got a great little farming spot and access to a mini boss and a prosthetic tool. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, cheers, and I'll see you for the next one.